name's Matt Turnbull, working with Naila Love as a site manager on the, the Wellington Town Hall construction project. So it's a challenging build. We've got to squeeze a, a huge amount of um, piling equipment through the building to complete up to about 150 piles. Piles uh, targeting a dense gravel layer, about eight metres down in the ground. One of the challenges on the project was achieving the target depth for the piles. The machinery was only just uh, narrow enough to fit through some of the uh, smaller rooms we had to pile within. And for that reason, the subcontractor actually chose um, specific zero slew machinery modified to fit within uh, within smaller spaces. So within the building, we've used a 25 ton excavator. The boom on the excavator has been chopped in half. And uh, for this project, we're using um, a steel screw pile with a, with a helix on, on the bottom. Additional concrete and steel counterweights in the arm of the digger allowed additional downward force whilst trying to drive the screw poles into the ground. This has meant that we were able to drive the screw poles to the target depth when we're limited by the size of the equipment we can bring into the town hall. For other piles outside the building, we've used a standard 30 tonne excavator. The standard weight of this machine means we can drive piles without having to add extra weight to the boom and the additional length of the boom means we can drive longer sections of pile in some cases completing pile in full lengths whereas inside the building driving 8 to 15 meter piles in 3 meter sections with a smaller machine requires additional welding. Naila Love has spent a lot of time working with the council at the tender stage and, and pre-construction stages of the project, trying to work out how to get the piling machinery through the building, causing as little damage as possible, but whilst trying to maintain efficiency for the, for the piling subcontractors. It was important to incorporate the use of BIM in the planning stages of the project to ensure that the machinery that we were going to use would fit within the spaces and could navigate the building. Once the routes through the building were, uh, were confirmed, we started with a heritage salvage of a number of elements of the building, and that was followed by controlled saw cutting of masonry walls and sequenced demolition. It's important to follow the sequence that was developed during the planning stages. As the works are completed, we placed obstructions in the way and trying to get back to redo works or complete works that were missed out of sequence would be impossible. Prior to construction works commencing, Naila Love was able to use its uh, technical expertise and resource to scan the building to verify the building's location and then has used a total station to complete a lot of the set out to ensure the poles are driven in the correct location and then we we're also able to use the total station and the survey control to prove the location of the asphalt poles. Prior to the poling works commencing on site, trial poles were installed in the ground at the town hall and at another location, reflecting the ground conditions expected at the town hall. The trials gave the engineers and the contractors the opportunity to review the methods that were going to be employed and the designs that had been developed were able to be completed on site and achieve the quality results that the, the client would be looking for. Naila Love and Laddies have taken the piling on as a design build package. Lattie's engineers have been a part of the process from start to finish. As such, Lattie's engineers have been on site through the entire piling process, ensuring that the, the quality required from the process is achieved. It's been quite exciting coming to the end of the piling portion of this project. It's known that Lattie's engineers and the council's engineers have agreed on approval of the process and, and, and the final result. Once all the poles have been driven, pole caps are installed by the piling subcontractor and then the areas are handed over for the concrete construction works to commence. These commence with the RAF slab constructions. The RAF slabs are quite heavily reinforced 850mm thick concrete slabs. Quite a lot of time is taken over the placement of the LRB holding down bolts to ensure these are in the correct location. So once the RAF slab concrete pours are complete, the LRBs can be placed in their correct location. Yeah, it's been quite neat on the Town Hall project working with a, a range of different people and, and different areas of expertise. And Naila Love has got some good experience on the team as well through engineers, site managers, and also bringing in the commercial team to understand how we can take the, the restrictions of the Town Hall project and the opportunities brought to us by Lattes to ensure that we can provide the council with uh, a project that works out well. 
coming to the completion of the first stage of the polling in the Wellington Town Hall. It's been great to recognise and celebrate the wins with Wellington City Council and our subcontractors and within the Nailer Love team. And that we're now ready to allow other trades to follow on and complete their works. Thank you.